So is this all right being on monitor? Um, uh, turn it, turn it. So, all right. Have you woken up? No. <laughs> Morning. So, this must be exciting. I haven't got the job yet. Have you decided where you're going to live? <sighs> I'm trying to keep a level head. You could probably choose New York or LA. <laughs> As I said, I haven't got the job yet. Uh, we had the chance to go out to LA back in the day. Didn't end up going. Then we didn't want to uproot the kids. Real pity. Santa Monica's a fantastic place. Literally, everyone's got their tits out, men and women. It's bizarre. I'll worry about all of that when I see a sign on the dotted line. You have your father's pessimism. Some people say pessimism, I say realism. Had your mother's mouth too. Listen, don't worry, these things take time. The bigger a company gets, the more arseholes you have to pass things through. I'm just really bad at hanging around. I'll tell you what, why don't you uh, take these, go off into the city, and uh, think of it as a farewell tour. I only need one travel card. That's okay, we've got loads of them. Um, phone a friend or something, who knows? Look, the last thing I need right now is a distraction. Tom! The only thing you need right now is a distraction. Go on, get out of my office. I'll call you later. Just stand out, he says, seize the day. Coffee. I need coffee before there's going to be any seizing. I'd only had that phone all of two days. Didn't even have a chance to transfer all the numbers over on the fucker before I went and smashed it. Called the PR company, asked them to send me a new one. <laughs> Told them it was the delivery guy. So some poor fuckers getting fired because I had one or two many Samzookas. You really are an asshole, Mr. You do know that. Listen, I'm looking out for number one. I do what I want, say what I want, and if you don't like it, you can suck my big fat cock. <laughs> Whilst I will never admit it in public, I actually don't mind days like this. I get to potter around aimlessly doing as I please with no plan to guide me. It's quite liberating, actually. It's been nice to be able to see the sun shining for once. It's been hot all summer, but this is the first time I'm actually noticing it. I've had my head that far up my ass. It's been a long winter, figuratively and literally. I was the collateral damage of that relationship. My sanity, the final remains of a dog beaten to death. My corpse, so meek even vultures didn't bat an eyelid. That's why I need this job. I need a fresh start. The idea of getting away from everything so they may begin to right the wrongs of years gone by. Well, that's the plan, at least. He was trying so hard to convince me. And it's like, you can never trust a man, especially if they ask you to trust them. If it's so impossible for me to understand that you are a decent and honest human being, then sort your own shit out before you come to me and expect me to believe it. Nah, wasn't having any of that. One thing I will say about my longtime friend and cohort, Misty, is that she wears a heart on her sleeve. If the world was to end, I know whose team I'd want to be on. Because that's me, planning for every eventuality. Sure. It'd be nice to have a bit of fun now and again, but there's plenty more time for that when I'm older and more established. Don't think this is a sad story you're hearing. It's not. I chose this life, and whilst I know I could die tomorrow, I'd much rather build a future so bright that I don't have to look back with regret. Everything in its right place. Fitter, happier, more productive. Remember me, I'm the one that's back from... Over Time's gone by and I'm still so far from Over
Hi. Hi. I'm Tom. I'm Harriet. How'd you do? <laughs> um, I was just, uh, I saw you um, over there. Yeah, I was just drinking tea with my friend. I love tea. <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, I don't do this. Um, no? But I've, I've got um, an extra travel card and, and was going to spend a day around the city and was wondering if you wanted to know. No, that's weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. It's not like I'm a stalker. <laughs> I don't have a gun <laughs> or a knife. No, it's not that. I'm with my friend, so I just need to go of, check it's all right with of her. Of course. Oh, yeah. OK, then I'll just wait here. Yeah, I know. I said the same. I've just ordered two carrot cakes and a devil's fudge. I've eaten enough. I'm just going to pop into town. Since when? Tim, one second. Since that cute guy just asked me. His name's Tom. You can't just fucking go into town with a guy you've never even met. Are you mad? Why the fuck did you go back to some guy's house that you just met and suck his dick? That was a completely different situation. Call me or text me and let me know you're okay. I don't want him selling you to some North Korean sex slave or something. Oh, didn't know you cared. Just wrong. You be safe now. No, not you, Tim. You're gayer than a man with a dick up his ass. So, Tom, is it? That's me. You don't look like a Tom. No. What do I look like? I don't know. Uh, James or Zach, maybe? I like the name Zach. If I was going to change my name, it would be to something like Zach or Bartholomew. I always wanted to be called Meredith or something batshit like. Broken Sorrow. Bohemian Carpet. Astro Plane. Coat Hanger. Athlete's Foot. You literally took my breath away. Well, not literally, because that would mean I was dead. But I couldn't take my eyes off you. I had a feeling that you were something special. I didn't even see you coming. I'm not sure what it was that made me get up. My instincts controlling my every move. This is me improvising. From here on in, I'm going rogue. Right, what's your favourite shape? Shape? Uh-huh. That's your question? Yep, that's me. I head straight for the difficult questions. What's my favourite shape? Um, triangle? Nice. I've always been a fan of the square. <laughs> your turn. Okay. Um, what's your favourite food? A rich tea biscuit. Out of everything? I'm afraid so. You? Um, mine's probably spicy food. Spicier the better. Oh no. What? Well, I can't stand it. Korma makes me sweat. I go all hot, sweaty, blotchy, come out in a rash kind of thing. Nice. Oh, it's a hoot. <laughs> so, um, what do you want to do now? Um, somewhere with a view. A view? That's my alcohol. I know, just the place.
it's a plane coming. Oh my god. <laughs> and then someone's asking about it. Why would someone use that as their main form of transport? And fuck you very much for introducing me to it. Hey, come on, it's probably safer than flying. And it's the probably in that sentence that scares me. OK, we'll stick to the tube from here on in. I've enjoyed today, actually. Good. Me too. It's been nice to spend it with someone new. And as I said, I don't usually do this type of thing. Not much of a risk taker, are you? Not sure how to take risks. Calculated ones, but still. Um, the line is, I have no idea what the future brings. Well, I know what the line is, it just didn't feel right. Maybe if you just said it once, then... Well, well, come on, surely this would have all happened after the kiss, or could we missed a real opportunity with the cable cars. What seems to be the problem? Uh, seems to be having a problem with the line. We're, ha we're happy with everything, it's just... See, well, I don't understand what, what's wrong. We've, we've worked through this so many times. Well, well like... maybe we should just do something. <laughs> well, what do you mean, do something? It's not just that. I still can't get over some of the language. So I don't feel that my character would say some of the things she does. Like some what of the language. I don't know. Maybe instead of bastard, she'd say fatherless person. Oh, you little fucking killer! Am I still recording? Yes. <laughs> Sake, I'm trying to write this fucking film. One more for luck. I need this. I need this. I need this. Tea. Mm. Drink of gods! Drink of gods! Drink of gods! Oh, it's an 8-5 this year, Andy. I've got to make a film. Yeah, you, I you, have you've to. got to make a film. Do what you do, man. Do what I do? Yeah, but what is it? If I knew what I did, I'd probably have done this 10 years ago and not yeah, but, bloody no, 35. You've just got to make a film. Like, and you, and you, you're in a situation now where you've, you've met a lot of people, you know? You, just make a film. I'm sure you can find the people now with your contacts that you've made. Just make a film. Just, just make a film. Just make a film. Just, just do it from the heart, man. Film. Just make the film that you want to make, and communicate something that's real to you and going to be real to other people. The so point. The point being What's the is, point? the point being is, you've come up here because you're feeling all out of sorts because the film's not going well, and you know, and and. I keep hearing the same kind of argument from you about why things aren't going well, but maybe you've just got to go for it, like really push yourself like you've never pushed yourself before. So what you're saying basically is, I, I don't... I, you just need to make a film. I just wait make to make a film. I need to make, a, make a film. A bloody film. Just make a film. Make, make a bloody film. Film. film that the world has ever seen in the history of films. <laughs> is there any possibility in a not too distant future you can actually bring back my copy of Adaptation on DVD. I haven't got that. Yes, you have. It's up there. Somewhere. You've had it for months. No, You've I've... had it for months. No, it's not. Look, A. A, right? Yeah. Look, the first DVD there is Almost Famous. If Adaptation was there, it would be before Almost Famous. But it's not. But you've got because tree... it's not there anymore. You've got Tree of Life on top of that. You... 
You're a thieving gay. Oh, what? A thieving gay. I'm not a thief. And what's you this? You definitely are what's gay. All this? What's all this? What's They're all this? Ducky hands. Oh! 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 oh I'm such a quiet. Oh! 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 oh. I smite you, girlfriend. Oh. I smite you. Oh! I smite you. You smite my girlfriend? I smite you. No. Smite me. I didn't smite. So I didn't spike your girlfriend. You don't even have a girlfriend. You're gay. Well. We've just, we just ascertained that. You're gayer than a man with a dick up his ass. It amazes me that we're sat right in the middle of London and yet it's so peaceful. You can be quite poetic at times. Thanks, I think. I like it. Show someone in touch with their feelings. We're a rare breed, but I promise you we do exist. So, what about you? Ever had your heart broken? Have I ever had my heart broken? Yes. So, what's your question? Stop stalling so you can think of some witty distraction. Look, Harriet, you could swing a chimp round by its tail and I bet you'd end up hitting someone who's rather heartbroken. And yet you still can't answer my question. You just haven't got the gum. <laughs> I've got all the gum for need. But you still haven't answered my question. Is that the call you've been waiting for? I think so. Well, call them back. I, I, I want... I don't know. I don't know if I should. I mean, I want to. What? I, I want to, but there's an uncertainty there, a little, a little niggling that I just can't shake. It's called fear. Fear of change. Fear that you'll miss out on something different. Fear that I might miss out on you. You're sweet. And I should get going. Missed to be wondering where I am. She'll probably think you've buried me in a ditch somewhere and she's moved all her clothes into my room. And... Trust me, you're not missing out on anything. I promise you. Hello? Oh, God. who else do you pick up? Do you never listen to your phone? Well, doing what you told me, just relaxing. Yeah, you can still pick up your messages though, can't you? Oh, hang on, hang on. I've, I've only just gotten through now. I'll put you on speakerphone. Tom, please call. HR has spotted a problem. Where the hell are you? What the hell went wrong? The guy that I normally deal with is away. He's away for two weeks. Didn't even leave an hour of office on. Ridiculously. Anyway, the new guy can't process your application. It's embarrassing for me too, you've got to realise. All right, I promised your father one thing and then, you know, I got...
what the hell am I going to do now? What's next? Where do we go from here? Timing, so never check it twice. 